everyone and welcome to my channel Hisam Artwork. In this video I'm going to talk to you about selection in Clip Studio Paint formerly known as Manga Studio. And here I have my little guinea pig Ernest the Blue Bunny. And the way I selected him just uh, everything that is on this layer is by control and click left. As you can see I am uh, selecting everything that is on this other layer and I do this by selecting the layer clicking on it and it turns from gray to light blue and then click left and you can see you got these uh, they like to call them uh, marching ants uh, and now you can see that this layer is selected of course you can also use the auto select uh, in Photoshop is known as the magic wand I think here it's called auto select and you have a couple of options here as well I'm not gonna get into these uh, just yet I'm doing kind of little um, easy tutorial for super duper beginners that have never ever worked any of these because this series was a request by um, some friends who are totally new to this and uh, I do recommend you learn the shortcuts. So here it's W. Uh, as you can see, I'm pressing other um, uh, keys on my keyboard, and some things are changing. Those are the tools. So, like I said, with W, you can uh, select a certain shape, not the whole thing. I've chosen this image because it's a lot easier to select. It is. It was made in a uh, vector program, Illustrator. So it makes it a lot easier to select things when the lines are nice and crisp. Now I've selected outside and it has selected everything that is outside and it is transparent. Now the next thing you have is a selection menu. So you go to menu your tools up here and then you can go and see other things. So for example to deselect something is control D which is very useful. For example, I need to select this. I changed my mind. I don't need any more. Control D. I want to select this one. Now I changed my mind. I don't want to select things anymore. I want to do something else. Or I clicked accidentally. And I don't want to paint just in that area because as you can see, now I'm going to, if I want to paint anywhere, let's say I want to paint my bunny. And I can't because just that area is selected. So now I deselect and I can paint outside. I'm going to undo that and I do that by control Z. You can change all of these uh, settings uh, in Photoshop as well uh, and all the other programs generally you do uh, have like presets uh, that differ from program pr to program but um, you can change them according to your own preferences so uh, shortcut settings here and you can change all of these. Uh, for example, Control Z in Photoshop is just one step back, but I want um, to be number of, uh, let's say, 40 or 20 uh, undos, because I do a lot of things, you know, I paint, 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 and then I realize I don't like it anymore, and I undo, and I want to have several steps in Clip Studio Paint. You have this already, you do not need to set it up, but you will in Photoshop. Okay. Uh, next on the selection I talked about inverse selection so for example I um, I don't know let's say I select uh, this one and uh, I want uh, not to paint in the white area as you can see happens here I want to paint outside of the white area so what I will do is go to menu up here, selection, and select in uh, inverted area. Of course you have other options as well, I will not confuse you further with those. So now as you can see I am painting everywhere except there, because I have that area selected. And that's how inverse selection works. Now Alt and Shift, uh, these two uh, work as um, adding and uh, subtracting when it comes to selection. So I've selected the square and as you can see now I can move it around and I can do a bunch of other things with it like paint inside it. But let's say I want to um, add another area or I can use this tool 
and now I have this really weird area as you can see that's the selection that I've made and I can move it around and do a bunch of other things to it but let's say I don't want that area selected if I don't want it I will press press alt so alt is for subtra subtracting shift is for adding minus plus minus plus and as you can see uh, in your program as well when you press on these the selection will change from a plus to a minus from a plus to a minus so now I'm on minus because I'm pressing the alt key and now I can uh, paint it with a new color and that's how alt and shift work I'm gonna undo this because it's terrible and I don't like it also another thing I want to tell you guys about is um, cutting and pasting so for example I cut a piece of my bunny um, let's say I, I don't like his hand here and I select his hand and I've selected all the blue stuff that I could you can adjust and um, fiddle with the settings so you have more tolerance and you can select more or you can just click shift and keep adding uh, this is not going to be a great selection you will still have some pixels left as you can see it's better to let's say I'm selecting white uh, invert selected area and then I don't want that extra stuff so I'm pressing alt Um, and I, I've selected like the whole image so I need to be careful there we go now we have the hand selected and again it's not a great selection uh, I missed the finger there so that's not ideal either so you always have to be careful about this how you do it it's better to have stuff on different layers it looks slightly better but like I said when I zoomed out I missed his the tip of his thumb so like I said it's good to work on different layers when you need to move stuff like this otherwise you'll need to adjust it and fill in the blanks here and it looks okay now in the end so we did fix it there are many ways you can go about this now I want to put his hand on a different layer like I said I realized oh I want it on a different layer you just press control and V and what I wanna say about this that what I really like about Clip Studio Paint is that it pastes it in the exact same place you cut it out of so it is exactly um, where it was before now in Photoshop you don't have this so what you need to do and probably in other programs as well this can be you have to press uh, control V uh, sorry control plus uh, V plus shift to put it in the exact same place to get the same result you get in Clip Studio Paint but in Clip Studio Paint you no longer need to press this which I really like and it's very convenient and it's just one of the many things I like about Clip Studio Paint so that was it for selection hope you've enjoyed it I'm trying to keep these videos short uh, this is a new series I've started um, so if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments below if there's a tutorial about something you would like me to cover again let me know this uh, series was a request um, and yeah hope you've enjoyed it hope it helps um, and uh, see you in the next one bye bye